Hello folks and welcome to Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare. Now we'll get to the game in a minute. I wanted to go down a little bit of a trip on Xbox memory lane here. So if you don't care about that and you want to get to the game, go ahead and skip forward to right here. So a while back I managed to finally recover my old Xbox Live account. I hadn't had access to this for probably like 10 years or something like that. Just couldn't remember the uh, login info and everything. I think I made this account in like 2005 or maybe 2006. I can't quite remember. The name is just, uh, it's the name of a uh, metal album. And then 2010 just kind of sounded futuristic at the time. I don't know why I chose it, but I just stuck with it. I was so happy to get this back. It uh, was a major nostalgia trip when I finally logged back into it. Looking back through my achievements, I used to do a lot of achievement hunting. Well, maybe not a lot, but sometimes. As you can see, I have some Xbox One games. I have this account on Game Pass for uh, Xbox, PC, or whatever. But before I was like really into PC gaming, well before I did YouTube, Xbox 360 was like my thing. Oh, just on a, on a technical level here, I am recording this on an original Xbox 360, and my capture card is a 1080p 30 capture card, which is it's fine for 360 since we're not going higher frame rates anyways. But yeah, we're going to be limited by that in this. But I've been having so much fun. I've been replaying through Fable 3 and Fable 2 and trying some Dark Souls. That's quite an experience. And I was just kind of going through my list of games. I also started playing through Bad Company 2 for the first time. Now I know this is on PC as well, but I have the game on Xbox anyways, so I was just playing it on here. So many games that I completely forgot ever existed. Call of Duty Ghosts, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops was my favorite Call of Duty. I used to do so much of this in multiplayer and whatnot. Now I've played through all the Gears of War games, uh, but I had a different account at one point that I think I did that on Saints Row 2. You know, I beat Saints Row 2 like twice. I'm not sure how I didn't get more achievements. The old bag company. This is a game I would like to maybe make some videos on because it's a really obscure game. Maybe not really obscure, but it's a game made about the movie and it's not very good. And I'm only missing one achievement for it. So I don't know. Thought maybe that would be kind of fun to do. Ah, uh, we got Crackdown 2. I recently rebought Crackdown 1 and 2 for 360. I was wanting to do like a full game, no commentary video on both of them because it's been like years since I made one. But the problem I've noticed with those those kinds of videos is they get claimed a lot, typically falsely uh, copyright claimed. So I try to not do that so much anymore. CSGO on Xbox 360. Battlefield 3 is probably one of my favorite battlefields. I had so much fun in multiplayer on that. These two I'm particularly proud of because I maxed the achievements for them. See how much I used to play these games on console. Good old Skyrim, Black Ops 2 was great as well. Driver San Francisco, there's a game that's actually kind of hard to find these days unless you buy a physical copy. Call of Duty Classic, missing one achievement, what is this? Hardest difficulty, yeah, no, not happening. Battle Stations Midway, I have this on PC, but uh, I played it a lot on console. Battlefield 1943, I got all the achievements. This game was so much fun. Uh, you can't find it anywhere else, to my knowledge, other than the Xbox Live Store. Which is a shame. It was kind of a small game, it only had a few maps, but it was so much fun. And Battle Station Specific, that was a great one. <laughs> the perfect dark, uh, port, that's great. Saboteur, uh, I was recording a video, or, a, a playthrough of this on YouTube a long time ago. And, uh, I got screwed over by losing my saves or something like that. And I got a lot of... And a lot of achievements on that. Singularity. This is such an underrated game. I have made some videos on it. I love the fact that I have a bunch of the multiplayer achievements on this game. The multiplayer was so underrated. It was so much fun. Unfortunately, you can't really play it online anymore. It's not like you're going to find anyone to play with. The original Homefront, I did this on the channel not terribly long ago. And you can see, got all these achievements for the multiplayer. That was a really fun one in multiplayer. The deadliest warrior game, oh my god. Totally forgot about that. There's one achievement for Left 4 Dead 1 I'm particularly happy about, and it's the uh, 53,000 zombies killed. I have I have that one uh, on 
Dead Rising 1 as well, I think. That was something else to try to get. Fuel, here's a game that uh, not a lot of people remember. It was like an open world, well, maybe not open world, but it was like a post-apocalyptic racing game. And it was kind of cool. It was pretty interesting. It's just hard to find these days. Shell Shock 2. I had Battlefield 2 Modern Combat for a little while. I guess I didn't play it much, but uh, I should get that again. Dead Rising, here we go. There it is. <laughs> oh, that was ridiculous. Just spent an entire playthrough running over zombies. Original Crackdown. My god, Crackdown 1 and 2 were so much fun. I really want to make some videos on those in the future. Mercenaries 2 as well. This game was kind of jank, but it was such a fun sandbox. I had so much fun with Mercenaries. Okay, anyways, enough of a trip down memory lane. I don't know what's up with Xbox Live. Anyways, I just wanted to share a little bit of nostalgia with you guys because I had some of my favorite times in gaming were spent on Xbox and Xbox Live. Xbox Live was a kind of a cesspit, but it was also kind of magical. <laughs> Anyways, Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare. Um, let's boot it up. I'm a little rusty with the like aiming and stuff on a controller. Doesn't help that the 360's frame rate is, you know, locked around 30. But I've never played more than about 45 minutes of Undead Nightmare before. And I was just looking for something kind of different to do on the channel. And uh, I thought, hey, Wild West Zombies could be fun. Never played it anyways. Not sure if I'll finish it or whatnot. I'm just kind of trying to have some fun here. Alright. I have played through the main game before. And uh, I played a lot of multiplayer on this game. There was a, the uh, original Red Dead's multiplayer was was really good. I kind of wish they would, I mean, I really, really wish they would port this game to PC. Okay, got to start a new game, overwrite my save I had. Let's get this thing underway. After months away, John Marston has returned to his loved ones. While trying to rebuild his ranch and win back the trust of his family, Marston awaits whatever life will throw at him. As he drives home one evening from an errand, he ponders whether a man can ever escape his past. He is a man who is ready for anything. Almost anything. <laughs> Mother. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant to say, damn this awful son I've raised with his highfalutin ways and his shame that his mother swears like a sailor and sews like a blind man. Uh, is that better? Your lordship. Much better, mother dearest. Oh, good. I'm so glad, my darling. When you finished your university education and are far too good to even acknowledge my existence when we pass on the street, and you gently kick me aside and beg an old crow out of the way with your highly polished boot. Well, think of me kindly, at least, will you, my son? I'll try to, Mother. I'll think, that woman I just kicked, that used to be my dear old potty mouth mom. Maybe I should bother to kick her harder. <laughs> dear boy. Oh, I am so proud of you. Get off. Now, father's here. Maybe he can beat some sense into you. Something funny's going on out there. Damn dogs gone crazy and wolves howling and birds flying. Well, it's just the storm, John. Maybe. Uncle make it back yet? I thought he was with you off drinking in the fields. I mean working, as you call it now. Uh, he went into town a few hours ago after we busted that hammer working out in the meadow. 
Well, he's probably holed up in some place of ill repute waiting for the passing of the storm. I hope so. Well, that old man can take care of himself. I know. Just a funny feeling I got. You can't psychic, Paul? Either that or I ate something funny. <laughs> Knowing your mother's cooking seems more than likely. Mm. Well, talking about food, who's ready for some poisoning? <laughs> Me, my darling. I am starving. What you reading? Just some book about monsters. Tell me about it. It's kind of dumb. <laughs> that should suit me just fine. Well, it's all about, in ancient times, how Aztec warriors worshipped the sun. But during full moons, some of them worshipped the moon instead. And upset the equilibrium of things. So anyway, w what it involves is... There's this one guy, and he goes out to search of his family. And that leaves him all alone. So anyways, since there ain't no cure, the brave man has to kill everybody, which is absolutely disgusting and completely unbelievable. <laughs> It's getting late. Guess we're not gonna see Uncle till morning. Come on then, Abigail. <sighs> Jack, get yourself to bed, boy. Try to get some sleep. Ain't you worried about Uncle? Sure, but he'll have to wait till morning just like any other man would in his shoes. Night, son. Don't stay up reading too late. So good. Finally got uncle. I'm gonna be so Nobody rusty with the aiming. Hands on my wife. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> I can't believe I had to kill that poor bastard. I... Well. You okay, darling? You okay? Oh. Abigail. Abigail. I don't feel so great. Yeah. Jack, get out here, now! Oh, good Lord, what's happened? Mama? Careful, boy. Mama. Mama! Mama. Stay right there, the pair of you. Don't make me no widower now. Okay, so I remember how to do this. All right. Sorry, darling. It's for your own good. All right, come here, boy. Oh, 
you act like a child, I'll treat you like one. into you sick, crazy bastards or what else was done to you, but I'm going to get help. Stay calm. As calm as you can, seeing as both of you seem to have gotten a little excited. Probably just a fever. Jack, be kind to your mother. Abigail, teach the boy right from wrong. Both of you, stop biting chunks out of people. Be back as soon as I can. <laughs> All right, off we go. God, I've missed Red Dead Redemption. Guess I best go find me a doctor in town. I wanted to do like a playthrough of this game, but uh, it's such a long game, especially if you do kind of everything. All right, how do I call the horse again? Here we go. And besides, Undead Nightmares just uh, seemed more fitting, I guess, for my channel. I did have a, a playthrough of uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 that I was recording like a year or two ago. I don't remember. Yeah. I recorded like 13 or 14 episodes of it, and they were all like an hour, hour and a half or something. Well edited. I put a lot of time into it, and I can't remember what it was. There was some technical problem. Where I had to scrap it all. It's kind of sucks, but, uh... Anyways, let's go into town and... Oops, I forgot to not push my horse too hard. Sorry, buddy. This is gonna take some remembering. It's been a while since I've touched this game. Like I said, I've never played Undead Nightmare before. Other than, like, 45 minutes, so I don't know how long it is. I straight up feel like I'm back in, like, 2009 or something. Although it does kind of feel weird recording commentary while I'm playing Xbox 360. I'm not used to doing this. Let's go see what the good folks of Blackwater are up to. Oh, this looks good. I'm sure everything's fine. Where is everybody? Okay, so I do know that I kind of have to be careful with ammo, at least more than I would in the main game, because it's a little more scarce in here, I think. Mr. Marston, sir! Marston! It's me! Professor, what are you doing here? I thought you went back to Yale. Well, I did, but uh, I came back uh, for another round of research, <laughs> and now all hell is quite literally broken loose. What is going on? Well, sir, I'm a man of science, a man of great learning, a, a thinker, a, a wise man, and I'll be honest with you, sir, I haven't got a fucking clue. Why ain't that dandy? What, what should we do? Well, I suggest we try to find other survivors, band together, and find a cure. Or fight to the death trying. Well, well that sounds great and all, but, uh, but I'm uh, just peachy. But, but I'm not sure that I'm, I'm not cut out for such shenanigans. Uh, I was thinking more that uh, finding a horse and, and riding back to the civilized north at the speed of knots before writing a paper on the events from the comfort of my study. I'm a scientist after all, right? I mean, I, I, I can't do much science if I'm some bloodshot dervish's lunch, can I? Much as I would like. Your sense of duty is very impressive, Professor. <laughs> I'm gonna search the back street for survivors. But, no, no, be, perhaps staying with you would be safer. Uh, could, could you just wait a sec here, would you please? I, I'm going to wander down that lonely, deserted street and get my bag. Wait, you should stay with me, Professor. You haven't got a gun. Oh, no, no, it's okay. There's no need to worry. Everyone's already dead. <laughs> I left my stuff with Mr. Nastas. You remember him, uh, Indian fellow, dumb as bricks, but, but a good sort. Okay. Well, meet me in a couple minutes. Affirmative. A couple of minutes. 
<laughs> oh, rip, that didn't take long. <laughs> Okay, time to get a lock on. Oh, shit. Time to get a lock. Try to get a lock on actually aiming. I'm so rusty with a 360 controller. Oh. Did I get you? Now we got more. I think some of them drop ammo as well. If you loot them. Yeah, okay. I guess I should probably do some corpse searching. Oh, shit. Not my <laughs> That was great. Come on, aim assist, help me out here. Okay, maybe I should get a move on before everyone in the neighborhood shows up. Not everyone's gonna have ammo either. Undead with ammo belts, okay. Sure. Anyways, let's go look in the alley or whatever. Man, Blackwater. I remember spending so much time here in the main game, just like doing rampages, you know, fighting the law and stuff like that. Good times. Anyone here? Hello? Anyone here? Come out. It's okay. Come out. I don't bite. Bad joke. I mean, come out. Become a family, mister. And mine, I fear. I saw my mom rip my daddy's face off and drink his blood. And they were happily married 20 years. I'm sorry. Your mama was dead? I saw her walk up onto the porch. And then boom! She ate my daddy! You weren't... You weren't a bad man, mister. You weren't. Sure, he liked to drink, but, but he weren't bad. And sure, he liked the company of women, but he weren't bad, mister. He weren't. No one deserves to have their blood drunk. I mean, he knew how to use his fist. And if, if a woman spoke out her place, he reminded her of it and everything. And when my mama was dying, people said that he was lying with her sister. But that weren't true, mister, it weren't. But you said your mother was dead. Yeah, her and Mr. Braithwaite, he's been dead a year. And then yesterday, he walked up that street eating dogs. And he loves animals. All the dead folk have come back to life, mister. Only they ain't happy. It's a funny kind of salvation. All the dead folk? All the folk buried at the cemetery over by the churchyard. My God. I'm gonna go have a look. You wanna come? No, I already seen my mama. I don't need to see any more of my relatives. Here, mister, take this. If you can burn them, maybe you can put their souls to rest. Hey, mister! If you see my uncle Mordecai, burn him. Burn him real good, you hear? Okay, I do remember the, um, the clearing of the graveyards you have to do. And a while back I watched a, a Mitten Squad video where he played through Undead Nightmare with just the torch. The torch is actually pretty decent, but that's... It seemed like torture from what I saw. It looked like a total nightmare. You know, maybe I should, uh... Actually get my horse here. Where you at, horse? Nope. But anyways, I was just gonna say... 
torch is useful for saving some ammo. You just, if you get too many of them, I think it's gonna be a problem. Sorry, horse. Hold on, kiting this zombie. All right. Whoa, come back here. Come here. Come on, you fucker. All right. Let's go over to this graveyard. I do remember this part, at least. We gotta burn some coffins or something like that. Okay, how do I stop the horse? Oh, shit. Well, I guess that'll work. Pretty sure we're about to get swarmed here, so... I gotta remember how to use dead eye as well. Uh, should we just use some torches, or...? I feel like... Oh, nope, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, right, stick for dead eye. Oh, uh... Sorry. Sorry, horse. Trying to remember some controls is all. It's been a long time. I do have a few, like, videos from Xbox 360 on the channel. But they're all... Damn, back off. They're like the, uh, full game, no commentary kind of thing. And that was a while ago. Most of what I've been playing lately on 360 is, like, Fable. And Dark Souls, so... Aiming is kind of difficult for me, because I'm just a PC scrub these days. Nope. Okay. That wasn't really what I wanted to do, but I got it. I feel like I'm going to end up getting killed from my slow aiming at some point. It feels so unnatural to me these days to uh, aim with a controller. Oh, shit. We gotta stay a little bit away from him, I reckon. We need to start burning some coffins, too. Let me just get some distance here. Damn it, if I can only aim. Alright, uh, hold on. I'm gonna sprint up here and I'm gonna torch some coffins before I get too overwhelmed. I'm pretty sure the big guy's gonna rush me or something, too. You said she wanted me to burn him? Does it really matter? I guess we can try. I feel like he's gonna fuck me up. Oh my god. Okay. You know, let me swing at him. Alright. Is that gonna keep him down? I guess so. That was easier than I thought it would be. Go ahead and just burn this last one. You always get whacked. No, you don't. Oh. Okay, okay. Run away. I can feel my 360 just chugging a little bit. I'm really actually quite surprised this thing is still alive. I didn't know where it was for a long time. And I found it in some old boxes and it was just like covered with dust and stuff, but it works. Okay, one down. Pretty sure there's a lot of graveyards. I don't remember how much of the map is utilized in this either. I'm gonna go around looting some bodies here and then we'll go back to town. Find a new weapon. Oh, the repeater. Carbine. Nice. I'm digging the shotgun though, to be honest. Sniper rifle ammo? No, I just need a sniper rifle. I also don't remember if going around in like buildings... Did I loot this guy? If I'm gonna find anything, I think there's like ammo caches you can find and stuff. But I'm pretty sure they get marked when you find them. Hey, friend! Over here! Uh, okay. Reduce the undead presence. Sure thing. Let's use the old shotgun. <laughs> I love that. They come from anywhere else or just the... Over here. 
Probably be a little more careful with my ammo. What's that green dot on my screen? Is that? Oh, okay, yeah, ammo cache, gotcha. Oops, that was an accident. I'm trying to get headshots. I really am. I just suck at aiming. these. Why are they way out here? Oh, I should probably swap weapons. Starting to get low on ammo. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Why are you crouching? Damn it. Might as well just free dead eye them. There you are. All right. Town has been saved. Uh, cause... Okay. Alright, yeah, we got a bed. Let's go get this ammo cache here. It'll become overrun by the undead again over time. That's nice. I saw one of the achievements for this, uh, DLC was, uh... Or I guess you call this, like, an expansion. I saw one of the achievements was for having every town safe or something all at the same time. Sounds kind of like a tall order. What we got back here? A whole bunch of sniper rifle ammo. That doesn't work with this, does it? No, it doesn't. Okay. Some revolver? Alright. Let's go... save the game, check out this bed. Oh, here we go. Wonder if I have any outfits. Cowboy on... Okay, I do. Not many, but I do. Gotta do the duster coat. Nice. Alright. Okay, let's go ahead and see what's next. You folks okay? Oh, just fantastic. I just saw my daughter get eaten by some creature sent straight from hell. Thanks for asking. I'm kind of sorry I did. Sorry, mister. Forgive my wife. We've suffered terribly. What's going on? It's the government's fault. Ain't it always? Well, they let in too many foreigners. Just shut the goddamn border or things like this happen. My daughter was just some satanic demon's lunch because of the goddamn government. I pay my taxes. Usually. I think we may be moving a little off topic here. I ain't a wise man, but I have done a little traveling. These creatures ain't like any foreigners I've ever seen. Thanks for the input, cowpoke. Oh, I got flesh-eating monsters feasting on my family, and I'm taking advice about tolerance from a gunslinger. What in the world has my life come to? And my daddy told me I never should have gotten married. This is all your fault, you, you useless man! Oh, not now, Toreen. Not this again. <laughs> your daddy was a, a bully and a drunk. Well, you ain't no kind of man! Listen! <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt your happy reminiscences. Is there anything I can do to help? Have you got any idea of how we can survive? Well, you could try shooting them creatures, you dumb fool. Ma'am, it's been a real pleasure. Sir, you're a man of great patience. Okay, that was completely unhelpful. Alright, search for survivors, sure. Aw, poor old... What is that, Model T, I think? 
Maybe it's a little older than that. I don't remember. I could use one of those about now. Everything looks boarded up. Oh, there's people right here. Hey, you one of them, mister? Do I look like one of them? Well, don't come no closer. We made that mistake before, lost half our number. I ain't one of them, you fool. Well, how do I know? They can't speak. Well, I ain't taking no chances. Kill him, he's one of them! Yeah. No, I ain't! Don't take no chances, Silas. Have it your way, all right? Listen. I ain't coming no closer. Do you know what's going on? It's the glass eye. The freak with the glass eye. He caused this. No, no, no. It's the snake oil man. These poor folks have been drugged. I blame the Mexicans. They haven't been struck down. All right, we heard a lot of stories, mister. Some say it's a moon. Some say it's drugs. Hey, don't come no closer now. Stand back. Apparently, it's worse in New Austin. Must be where it came from. And it looks like I'm headed down to New Austin. Did one of you say snake oil? It's the glass eye. I blame the Mexicans. Oh, Connie McTavish, you don't know nothing. You always was an ignorant shrew. I bet your husband's glad he's dead. <gasps> well, at least my husband never took favors from the stargazers, Lucille Billingsgate. You say you're sorry, you hillbilly white trash! Yeah, yeah, now how are we gonna rebuild America like this? Now, see, I thought we had it all decided. We was gonna be kind and gentle and pay homage to our leader, who happens to be me. Sounds like you folks have this all worked out. Have yourself a fine America, and good luck. We never had that decided. We decided we would hold elections and that I would be leader. You can't even read. Well, I, I got gravity. Well, I mean, gravy. I mean, uh, folk respect me. I am the new king, Archibald Andrews. Me. Now pay him. <laughs> Well, every survivor I met's been mostly useless so far. New Austin. Oh, I got an achievement. Hell yeah. I I still I still love seeing the achievements pop up, man. I've been doing a bunch of uh, fuck um bolter. Oh shit. I've been doing a bunch of achievement hunting on uh Xbox One games from Game Pass and stuff, and some on old 360 games like Fable and whatnot. I miss doing that. Okay, so how far do we have to go? Oh, we got a... Birth of the Concert... Oh, we got a bunch of uh, random stuff to do as well. I forgot how the, uh, the map is like this. I actually have a physical map from my old copy of the game. An Undead Nightmare map. On my wall. Let's go do some of the side stuff on the way over there because... Uh, well, that one's not too far away. But let's go see what the hell this is. Kind of far away. I guess I can't fast travel either. I don't really remember how to. Alright. Time for a horse ride. Also, time to get out the shotgun. I don't remember if it's worth my time to stop and uh, harvest stuff. I need to actually check a few things here. Um, okay, um... Well, I got stats at least. I don't see anything. Um, is there a way to get outfits in Undead Nightmare? I guess there's a few other ones. Now, I remember in the main game you would like make a camp to uh, fast travel. I don't. I know. I think you can do it from the beds in uh in here. I just don't know if it works the same. So I'm just gonna ride there. They really nailed the. Uh, Really nailed the, like, horror atmosphere once you're out away from towns that are saved. Got this nice gloomy weather going on all the time. Okay, unencountered towns. Is that where I'm going? Is it a town up here? Oh, we're going up into the trees. Wasn't there a mission in the, in the main game to, like, hunt Sasquatches or something like that? I remember coming up into this kind of area of the map to hunt in the main game. Mister, hey, I got one. Got what, mister? 
The damn Sasquatch, a filthy thing was gonna eat my dog when this girl hollered out, and I shot the thing right through the heart. Boom, like that! You feeling all right, mister? I've seen a lot of strange things recently, but no Sasquatch running around here, nor no place else. They, they're made up. There's Sasquatches every place, cowboy. They're nastier than your mother-in-law with a bad case of that virus. Down in Manzanita the Post, they ate a little girl. Are you serious? Do I look like I'm joking? The hills are infested with them. Kill them. Kill the bastards before they kill all of us. Kill them. Kill them. I ain't afraid of you, you dumb hairy bastard. Okay, I guess that was misremembering. Maybe they were in the main game too, but... All right, let's go Sasquatch hunting. Kill six Sasquatches in tall trees, so we're just gonna go hunt. Walk around, I wish he would've given me his rifle. So what, we're just gonna wander around the forest until we find him? Get away what the from me. zombie dog? <laughs> Fuck. God damn it. Great, and they're not so easy, huh? Get the fuck off of me. Never gonna get a headshot on these damn things. Great. Gonna need to get some headshots. S Undead wolf teeth. Oh, fuck. the bunch of them. All right. Where's the other one? Okay, they're gone. I need to find some Sasquatches. I wonder what the wolf teeth are for. I'm seriously just gonna wander the woods until I find... Six. Oh, it's... Okay. Up around there? Also, what is that? Status unknown. Some zombies. Uh, let's do some torch action here. Save some ammo. Didn't actually expect to see zombies in the middle of the woods, but you ain't coming back from that. Did I just get shot? There's kind of a bunch. Get caught on fire. Oh, it must be what's-his-face shooting at him. My poor Xbox. Having a hard time. He has no head. None of these guys have heads. What the hell? Okay. I guess I should collect some random stuff when I come across it. Might you little beauty. come in handy for something. Can't remember what it was used for in the main game, but uh, I do know it was worth your time to pick some stuff up. Oh! Got ourselves a Sasquatch. And a goat. Oh. Only one shot. Sorry, buddy. Sasquatch teeth, all right. There we go. That's one. Did it move my, uh, okay. So at least it's directing me where to go. That's something. I'm gonna say just aimlessly wandering the forest might take a really long time. Oh, fuck. Whoa. Get the... I couldn't even do anything! Yes, yes. Let's go to the nearest town. Oh, I'm out at home. Okay. Well, whatever. You'd think Marston would have some ammo lying around at his house. The world has literally gone to hell in a handbasket! 
Okay, hold on, get a little sidetracked here. Mythical creatures appeared in the area. Okay, we got some zombies at Manzanita Post here. And I don't have a fucking gun out. Sorry about that. Guess we ought to help here. What is going on in here? Oh, okay. Hey, you guys gonna give me some ammo? For helping you out. Nope. Alright. That's kind of almost better than actually marking him in dead eye. I love that. I need to get off this porch. Why do they not come in here? ammo for that. Oh shit, there's a bunch. Yep, they come in here. What? What was that? Uh, hold on. Oops, I'm in the wrong way. Chinky ass Xbox. Let's go back outside. I'm gonna get trapped in here. Oh, the movement. I'm stuck on everything. Didn't mean to do that again. I try to do this without wasting a bunch of ammo. I'm on fire. Oops. All right. Oh, there's a bunch still. Okay. Locking me in. I can save here. Maybe wait till daytime. You guys got any, uh, ammo or anything in here? Yeah, I did get something. Oh, okay. Yep, thrown tomahawks. Alright, let's, uh, at least save the game here. It's closer to the Sasquatch hunt. Oh, ammo cache. Right, more shotgun. Okay, let's go back to... Sat squatch hunting. Am I, gonna, am I gonna have to restart that mission? Or is it still active? No, it's still active. Okay. That's why I didn't wanna, want to reload a checkpoint. I didn't want to have to do that over again. Be mindful of the undead wolves. More this time. Here's the dog. Yep. It's after me. See the Sasquatch too in the distance. Is this thing still after me? Okay. Come here, Sasquatch. They die pretty fast. Achievement six years in the making? What the hell is that for? Find and kill a Sasquatch. I like the 11 year difference, basically, between these achievements. Uh, that's very satisfying. Why didn't I get the achievement for the first one then? I'd rather do this on foot. There you are. They don't seem too aggressive to me. But okay. Oh, that one's kind of far away. Gonna have to see what that is, too. I want to do as much side stuff as I can. But, uh, I need to mix that in with the main story as well. 
There you are. Alright. Next zone is close. Alright. Get out of here. Try to loot me a Sasquatch. Nope, another dog. And another one. Coming after me or what? Yep, he's gonna... Oh, that didn't work at all. Man, you're tough. Jesus. No fucking way. What the f- Is this thing fucking invincible? It's still alive. Holy hell. Well, I found a Sasquatch, but I wasted a bunch of ammo on a goddamn wolf. Sorry, pal. One more. Let's, uh, use the torch. Starting to worry about ammo. A little maintenance here. Just lay him on fire and then kite him. Okay, I'm gonna move in the middle of some shit here. Burn already. Do I shoot this one? The icon looks different, it's just standing there. Shoot me, human! <laughs> Shoot me! Oh, I will, you foul creature of the night. You'll be granting me peace. Why's that? Keep you from eating more babies? In the name of all the traits, are you talking about, human? You eat babies. You have to to survive. Everyone knows that. Ain't your fault. We eat berries and mushrooms, you fool. But we did. Now none of us are left. Some maniac's been murdering us. I'm the last of my kind. We've lived in these hills a thousand years. You eat babies. If you say so, human. My family is gone. My kind is gone. Shoot me. I can't take it anymore. Make it stop. <laughs> okay, we're done. No, we're not going to shoot him. I'm not gonna shoot him. Also, just noticed my revolver's gold for some reason. Undead hunter menu entry updated, okay? Now that I'm out in the middle of nowhere, I wanna see what the hell that is. What? Oh, shit. 
lady right here. Uh, where are you going? Okay. Get up from that. That miss that one. God damn it. Sometimes the controls are just fucking with me. I'll shoot you as many times as it oh. takes. That'll work. And a little reckless with the ammo. I can never thank you enough. Don't uh, you weren't out of the woods, now so to speak. Stay there. That right. Yeah, go see the Sasquatch. Okay. It's oh. Okay. It's another town under attack. That's what it is. Okay. Great. Well, I need to do some torch action because ammo is starting to become a worry. <laughs> this is so weird. I feel like the safety meter is not going anywhere. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Really didn't. And now I have no choice. And why do they have no heads? And where are the zombies? I don't know what the fuck is going on here. These aren't zombies, these are the, the civilians. They're just all hostile for... Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, I know I haven't saved the town yet, but something is horribly wrong up there. So I'm out of here. I feel like something's broken, like I need to reload the game. Which, you'd think, wouldn't be a thing. I'm so sorry, Something's sir. clearly wrong. Okay, we're just gonna have to... We're just gonna have to... <laughs> go back to the main menu and reload it. I don't know what the hell's going on. Okay, so we reloaded, and uh, let's go down to the Pacific Union camp first this time. It seems like it saved my progress at some point. Uh, I'll see if we still have headless civilians or not. If we do, I'm gonna be real confused because this is console and not sure how I'm supposed to bug Let's fix go. it. Oh, what do we got going on here? Hold on. I need to figure out how to slow down the horse. Uh... Buddy? You got a zombie pet? Oh. Okay, uh, look buddy. You have fun with your new friends that are coming up. I'm just gonna go now. Alright, we're back. I swear to God, we get a bunch of headless civilians again. Keep crouching. What? What? Are you kidding me? Okay, apparently I fucked up again. Son of a... Oh, I can't believe I have to do that again. Because I accidentally hit him with a few... A few bits of buckshot or something. Okay. Uh, let's try this again. Gonna do some torch action. There is far fewer zombies this time. Wrong way, wrong way. Fuck me, man. The controls are so bad sometimes. Alright, stop, drop, and roll, Marston. Okay, we're actually succeeding this time. Different gun. I forgot to use my tomahawks. Oh, did not want the lasso. Son of a... <laughs> nice. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, it didn't work either. Okay, we're almost done. There we go. I got a rolling block rifle. Finally, I got a sniper. Nice. Now let's pick up these ammo. Pick up this ammo. I got a lot of sniper ammo too. 
Rolling block's a cool one. This is gonna be terrible to try to aim with, though. There's some shotgun. Okay, I'm gonna save the game and then we'll go up to the, uh, the other one, way back up north, wherever it was, that we failed before. We'll get back to the story mission soon. I just wanna fix the, uh, Oh, I should just fast travel to the Manzanita Post. I just want to fix the things that got fucked up before. Okay, let's travel up there, see how this works. Travel to destination. Manzanita Post, alright. Okay. Stay here, horse. This rifle is not gonna work out well for me, I can already tell. I have a lot of ammo for it, so I'm gonna try to use it, but... God, the controls are so sluggish sometimes. Oh my fucking god, you kidding me. Did I get shot? Now I get a town safety thing. Okay. Just gonna finish them off by running in circles and lighting them on fire. Please actually finish this time. Hallelujah. Got a bolt action rifle. Oh sweet, it's the um I don't remember what it's called, but uh yeah, awesome. Let's go get that ammo stash. Let me loot some zombies. I noticed it doesn't mark all the bodies. On my map, does it only mark the ones with ammo? No, this is really low. I see. That's good to know. We'll save the game again, and then uh, we should probably go back and do some main story stuff. Unless I came across something else in the immediate area I can do before. So I should probably go down to this main mission. Oh, uh, we got an actual town to help here? Oh. Okay, hold on. Thieves Landing. Okay. He's up here somewhere, huh? You guys want to just leave me alone for a minute? I love this gun. I'm gonna talk to the survivor, but I'm not sure how I'm supposed to even get over there. Alright. This one looks like kind of a top town. We got four bars for making it safe. Oh shit. It almost seems like the easiest way to do this, I mean, for the moment, is just to do hit and runs where you Light one on fire, run away, get some distance, light another one on fire. This is a pretty big town. I don't really remember this one. Uh oh, gonna get swarmed. The better way would have probably been to go get on a roof or something. Shit! Ran right into a group of them. This is getting pretty tedious. Hopefully I start editing these down. Because they're taking a while. I'm trying to just save ammo. Didn't even fail at once this time. So far. What do you know? Some looting, and then we'll save, and then we'll move on. Yeah, this is a new low. Yeah. I'm sorry about all okay, we got a few ammo caches down here. I'd really like some more ammo for that bolt action rifle. Man, what is it with this game? It's been a while since I've seen a 360 game that has so many technical problems. Now the, uh, when I saved the game, it it's uh, just been sitting on a black loading screen for a while, so if I have to redo that, I'm gonna be pissed off. Okay, it actually saved. 
Uh, thank God. And it looks like the ammo caches are back, even though I looted them before I saved. I'll take it. Oh, uh, the bolt action rifle takes different ammo than the repeater carbine. Didn't realize that. Okay. Anyways, let's actually carry on with the story now. Unless I come across something else down here. Oh, I got another... Hold up, I got some... Welcome. Lucky you came along when you did, mister, or I'd have been feeding on you right now. I'm just glad I got it in time. Hell, that was fun. Okay. I found another ammo cache as well. Thank the Lord. You look terrible. Whoa. Can I tell you about the whiskey? Uh. Oh. I don't think there was much I could do about that. Didn't take long, did it? Well, sorry. I don't remember who this is down here. Let's go! I think it's a grave robber guy we're supposed to be meeting here. Seth. Seth. You okay? What's going on? Oh, hey there, John. Fancy a game of cards? Not right this minute. You remember Moses, John. He's... He's, 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 a, he's a darn sight more loyal now than he was before. <laughs> uh, come here, boy. Come on. Come here, boy. What are you doing? We were boyhood friends, John. Moses is having a tough time right now. Ain't you, pal? What's going on? We're playing cards. Relax, sit down. I mean, with the undead walking the face of the earth, you crazy dumb bastard. That ain't nothing. Ain't nothing? I've seen husbands eating wives. Mothers eating sons. Graves popping open and the undead rising up. It sure as shit is something. Oh, boo-hoo. Big tough John Marson is scared of a little undead creature walking around. Moses wouldn't hurt a fly, would you, darling? Besides, this ain't nothing new. Folks in Blackwater blaming it on that glass eye you found. Folks! 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 Damn them folks, John Marston! Damn them! And damn you! Get him! Get him, Moses! Get him! After all I've done for you, Seth, and I thought loyalty was important to you. You can't hurt me. Moses, get him. Go! Yeah. Get him! Get me, Moses. Looks like your dog's lost his bite, Seth. Now what the hell's going on? The dead have risen, and a virulent plague is turning people into flesh-eating crazies. What the hell you think's going on, genius? But why? But why? 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 Why not? Why not? <laughs> why the hell not? Because it ain't natural. Who made you Mother Nature and Mother Superior all at the same time? Who made you, John Marston? Same as made me, same as made Moses. Is there a cure? <sighs> These things tend to fade away. Now, if you want to get rid of it, you should go clear the graveyards. Either that, or stop worrying and become one of them. Now, if you excuse us, we got good times to remember. Happy times. Okay. See you soon then, Seth. Come on, Moses. It's your deal. Diamonds are trumps. Come on. Oh, 
all the way down here just to tell him for him to tell me what I already knew, but okay. So the clearing of the graveyards begins. All right, we got a whole bunch of more shit on our list now. Uh, we got another town over here. Guess we could hit that on our way over west. Why not? Oh, there's a survivor mission here. Oh, we're at McFarland's ranch. Okay. Well, oh, this is gonna be another long one. Great. Oh, I thought I would have got two with that. No. Undead sharpshooter rank one. Okay. And he gave me chewing tobacco. Great. Just kind of sitting here picking them off this time. See if we can get three. All right. Nice. Undead sharpshooter rank two. That was fast. Ooh, I got a bunch of ammo for that. These people are bad shots. Almost as bad as me. Where the hell are the rest of the zombies? Alright. Nice. Gonna go grab this ammo. And, uh, save. And then we'll go see what, uh, what Bonnie's up to. Assuming she's still here. Or I guess it saved the game after I cleared it, so. First hell walks the earth, then you turn up. Could my week get any worse? Oh, nice to see you too, Miss McFarland. Oh, I thought you'd be dead. I heard things were bad in West Elizabeth. Sure. <laughs> but it'll take more than an apocalypse to take me down. What are you, a demon or a cockroach? Both, I fear. How's your father? Fine and dandy. He should be coming out of that barn any moment now. Daddy! What's he doing in the barn? Daddy, John's here! Mr. Marston, you remember? That idiot bounty hunter. What was he doing in the barn? Just rounding up the undead and keeping them safe so the rest of us can go about our business. He's a real man. He's probably playing around with them. Daddy, stop teasing me! Now come on now! How long's he been in there? Not long. Only since yesterday. Yesterday? I better go have a look for him. Would you, John? You are kind. Call out to me if you find anything. I will do. Well, I think we all know how this is gonna play out. I actually forgot you could do this kind of crap in Red Dead. Oh, good. And he's all right. Drew, are you in here? What a surprise. Sorry, buddy. Thanks for the gun, now. Sorry, Mr. McFarland. 
You were a good man. Well, John, you always do bring sunshine to my life. I'm sorry about your father. I'd like to say he died doing what he loved. But he never was one for eating folks, not slathering from the lips and howling at the moon. I guess I'll content myself with saying that he died protecting those he loved. Indeed. Well. Take care of yourself, Bonnie. You too, John. that gun Winchester repeater yeah nice is this a point inside of a burning building okay I reckon we ought to see about clearing one of these graveyards guess we'll go over to Coots Chapel yep. uh, I think we're maybe rolling up through a town here yeah on the left I'm gonna avoid that for now Cleared enough towns for the moment. We'll get to them. I want to actually try to do one of these graveyards. Okay, well, let's start torching some coffins. Start the zombie apocalypse here. Get ready for it. I don't remember how difficult they are after the first one. Well, I guess I've never been this far, so I really have no idea. Okay. We'll get a few right away. Or just all of them right away. This one's probably not going to be that hard because it's the, it's the second one. Oh, if I could only aim better. I like how the zombies pause when I uh, go to burn a coffin. Okay, now clear it out. Damn it. Whatever. Uh, oh, it's raining. Get a bit of a glare on my TV. It's kind of hard to see at the moment. Oh, shit. It's one of those fast ones. Holy. Miss Horlick, okay. Must be the final graveyard boss, huh? Sorry there, Miss Horlick. But I'm gonna have to give you four headshots. Didn't know how tough you were gonna be. Not that tough, I guess. I don't remember how many graveyards there are in this game. I think there's gonna be like a few per region. Even though I haven't played through this DLC before, I've seen like highlights of it just from a few videos. But okay, one down. We'll clear us some graveyards. Actually, should we do the graveyards or should we? There's another survivor thing there. Uh, I kind of want to just go do the graveyards before we actually go after more towns. I mean, we do have another story mission here though, or something. Survivor mission. It's right here. Let's just go do it. Let's go. All right. Hold up. Was a zombie, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, shit, fast one. Uh, didn't think I got it. Well, 
Why is it not uh, popping up the uh, town safety thing yet? Am I not in the town? Kind of looks like I am. I feel like it's not loading in some things again. Maybe I don't have to clear the town for this mission? Why is there so many fast ones here? My god, stop crouching. Starting to get a collection here. Wanna jump on a roof? Nope. Oh! Okay. I guess we just had to do a mission. Did this game just lock up on me again? The main menu, I guess. Gotta reload. Okay, so I reloaded the game and, um... I did have to travel back, but it does seem that now my, um, town status thing is working here, so something was definitely broken. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to clear this place out again. Guess I didn't completely clear it the first time, but let's give this another shot. See how many we can pick off before we head in there. Yep. Okay, not really what I want to do, but... Trying to get a bunch before I move in too far. I'd use the sniper rifle. I just can't aim with that thing with a controller. Uh, they got some hostile dogs. And some zombies right up on me. I'm sure there's somewhere I can get on the roof safely. I just don't know if I want to run in there and try. This is the problem here, is these fast ones are hard to deal with quickly. I don't think I got a headshot. Right. Oh, no, he's not dead. Okay. Want to get him. There we go. Hello, ma'am. Making pretty good progress. This town has a... Oh, wait, it has six. I just now noticed that. Alright, time to do some torch action. Until I get some dead eye back. Whoa! What the fuck was that? Please don't start breaking already, game. Okay. That went so much better than the first time. We do have a bruiser guy, though, whatever. You get it? Oh, no, we got more. There we go. Nice. Okay, let's do, uh, whoa, hey, hey, hey. If I would have just died from those idiots running me over, I would have been real pissed. Let's pick up some ammo and whatnot. Save the game. Same drill. All right. Looks like we got the same room. It's the single player game, at least as far as I remember. All right, got all the ammo. Let's go see about this, um, Survivor mission, whatever, over here. Let's see what the old sheriff's up to. You guys can come off the roof now. Hopefully, I don't get another eternal loading screen. Come on, let him go. Come on, boy. Hey. Well, try to. Sorry, boys. She didn't give me a whole lot of choice. Hello, John. Welcome to paradise. Hello, Marshal. <laughs> Might have known you'd survive. What's going on? Do I look like I commune with the undead? I don't know. Well, then how would I know? My job is to take care of the folk who live here. Oh, you <laughs> heard that one. How's that going? How's that going? Well, let me put it to you this way. Cattle rustling and bank robbery are at an all-time low. But murder, blood drinking, and psychotic episodes seem to be somewhat prevalent. Either that, or I'm dreaming. That's what I'm hoping, too. How was it getting in here? It was crazy. Oh, they must be hiding again. They come in and... And just disappear. Town's been nearly overrun a couple of times. 
Now we're low on ammunition, and I'm two men down. I'll help you clear the place out if you like. You're a good man, John Marston. But before that, I'm gonna need my deputies back. What happened to them two clowns you had before? Gone? Maybe. I sent Jonah off to look for Eli. They've both been gone for several hours now. Who'd want to eat one of them? <laughs> That's a good question. Where'd you send them? Out near the general store. Jonah's got one of these new guns. I'm sure he can't run into any trouble. These things, they'd stop an elephant. Thank you. No, thank you. I'm sure you got your own troubles. Sawn off double barrel, huh? I mean, it's pretty damn cool, but at the same time, I don't know how much, uh, we'll, we'll give it a shot. But you don't really want to be close with only two rounds, but maybe I won't have to headshot him with it. I'm gonna go ahead and doubt it, but... Hey, mister. Hey, pard. You seen a couple deputies nearby? Marshall's boys. Jonah and Eli. Uh are they Jews, mister? They sound like Jews. I don't know. Why? Why? <laughs> this whole thing is nothing but a Jewish plot. You do know that, don't you? I find that highly unlikely, amigo. Well, I don't like Jews. Or colored folk. Or natives, now that you mention it. Well, you're a nice, kind-hearted man to meet in a time of trouble. Kind does not come into it. Why? What are you talking about? Why? I bet you like Catholics. I can't stand them neither. Nor women. Fabians, socialists, homosexuals, Asians, or British. Between them, they've ruined this country. Ruined it! It was a good country once. Now people are eating each other, and it's all the fault of the Jewish, British, Catholic, homosexual elite and their ideas. Well, I, for one, won't stand for it. Have you ever met a Jewish person? <laughs> Thankfully not. Or a British Catholic homosexual? Not in my store. Oh, I, I get it. I see you acting clever. Well, let me tell you this. The Jews killed Lincoln. That's why there is a triangle on the money. And they run Europe like one of them Arabian harems. Now they've sent this here plague to kill all us decent folk. Yep. You, sir, are truly a remarkable fella. Thank you kindly. I must say, it's a rare pleasure to meet someone with such a grasp on human history. You take care of yourself. I'd hate to see you get savaged by someone and watch the life force drain from your hate-filled body. <sighs> hey, hold on there. Why don't you join me in my fight, sir? It's not too late. I fear it is for me. Then I will fight them alone. All of them. America is the land of the free. And that means free to people like me, Herbert Moon. Absolutely. Oh, oh no, no, no. Was there any point to that entire monologue other than just to see him die? And they had to be fast ones. So I guess I'm just back to looking around the town, huh? Oh, there he is. I think I got him. Okay. Are you fucking kidding me? You have got to be. I hope that didn't just fuck everything up. Everyone in town shooting at me because I shot zombies. Fuck me. All right.
I did not shoot at survivors unless I accidentally shot through that window. Okay, for whatever reason, reloading an auto save seems to have fixed that, even though it kept the progress, so. Oh. Hello, boys. Marshall sent me and needs some help. Guess you got other plans. Seriously, enjoy your meal, no problem. Easy now, gentlemen. Remember all the fun times we had? Uh-huh. I'll do it. I miss the old times, fellas. Who didn't see that coming? I thought I was gonna go on some wild goose chase for him, not, uh... Just <laughs> find him back here. Hello, John. Hello, Marshal. So, you find the boys? I found them. I understand. I hope it was fast for them. It was fast. And they died with their bellies full. Well, one of them did. Good. That there's Jonah's gun. Here, you keep it. After all, you earned it. Thank you. Take care of yourself, John. You too, Marshal. Okay. Well. Done and done. What do we do next? So we got a town up here. Another one over here. We could either go up to Twin Rocks or we could go... I think I'm going to go up to Twin Rocks first and just clear this out. Then we'll go hit a graveyard, work our way this way. Hey, we already passed through Choya Springs, so... Oh, it's Twin Rocks. Uh-huh. Alright. Guess I can use this thing a little bit. Pretty powerful. I can honestly say I'm putting you out of your misery. Go get him, horse. Or not. Oh, that kind of didn't work. Got him in the back. Okay, this one's a pretty easy one in terms of volume, anyways. Oh, fuck. Gun's pretty sweet. Damn fast ones. Okay, we're almost done. I'm so sick of these fast ones, man. Oh, I forgot about the big guys, too. Come on, now. Alright. Almost. Almost. Bruisers. Damn it. Son of a... Two shotgun blasts to the head. Should do it. Oh, we got the volcanic pistol. Nice. I don't have a lot of ammo for it, but this thing's really cool. All right. You know the drill. Loot some zombies, loot some ammo. Yeah, this is a save the game. Bow. Forgot I have Molotovs, too. Not sure how effective they're going to be, but, well, I guess the torch is pretty effective, isn't it? Next time I have a big Let's horde, I'll try to use some. Ahead. The tomahawks are kind of fun, but they're not the most useful thing ever. Blackwater has come under attack by the undead hordes. It's still, at least it's only two stars. Or two safety meters. Nothing too eventful, just, you know. You know, they always say talk to the survivors, but it's like... I can just... take care of all the zombies. I don't really have to give them resources for any reason. You're welcome. Well, I can see this becoming annoying if it starts happening, uh... periodically. Anyways. Let me travel back to where I was. Okay, so, 
reckon we ought to go ahead and um, take care of that one. Odd fellow's rest. Whoa there! I don't get the uh, mythical creature has appeared. Oh, why don't we go over there and see what that is? I didn't uh, act on that last time I saw it. Is it a mythical creature I need to kill? Oh, it's a, f a flaming horse. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Where's my lasso? Should I be maybe doing this on horseback? I'm not sure why I got off my horse. Faster. Am I gonna have to tame the flaming horse? Okay. How did I... Hold up, hold up, hold up. Whoa. I got you now, freak. Oh, okay. Damn. Can't remember how to do this. Almost got you. Now I'm in trouble. Freak of nature! Alright, alright, alright. Easy now! Maniac. Got you, got Devil you. Creature. How'd I get myself into this? Come on. Here we go. Come on. Come on Calm now. down. Well, creature of the night. What is wrong with you three? Ooh. Four horses of the apocalypse rank one. Alright, that's pretty fucking cool. Alright. <laughs> you know what? Since I want to save the horse. Uh, I'm gonna go back to Armadillo real quick and uh, go to a hitching post where I know that it's safe. Broken a horse of the apocalypse. War. Alright, war. No, no, we're not that encounter again. Guy with zombie pets. We're not doing that. War can set enemies on fire. Now that is yeah. fucking awesome. So I can just like steamroll through a bunch of zombies and just like it's also much better when it comes to stamina. <laughs> Good war. Don't set me on fire. Alright, war. Let's be off. Go back to that graveyard. What do we got going on out here? Oh, you got a machine gun! Are you actually alive, sir? Please, come on over! As you can see, I'm trying to find out what makes these thingamabobs tick. Sorry about the smell. I always need more research subjects. I'll be glad to resupply you if you can do a little, uh, body snatching for me. Uh, what do you mean? I must be crazy, but... Worth a try, I suppose. Find an undead and bring it back to the doctor. There's always the graveyard, but I can't really get one from there. I'm gonna go back on down the road for a minute until I find, like, a group of zombies. We'll see if Let's we can go. hog tie one or something. Oh, I found some zombies. I guess now's the time to check out the, uh... Oh, that's fucking nice. And now they're glitching out. It's just endless stream of fast zombies. Uh, oops. This will remind you of home. Not sure what I just did. No, I just made the locals hostile. That's what I did. So you know what? Fuck you. I don't even care anymore. Everything's broken. I'm gonna have to reload the game. I don't know what just happened there. I, I give up questioning why things are falling apart now and then. It's like if I have the game on for longer than 30 minutes, things start breaking. The version of this I have, the disc, is a Xbox One that's playable on a 360. So maybe there's some loading problems that are happening because of that, I don't know. I don't remember having problems like this on the uh, at least in the main game, maybe it's, I don't know. 
Well, he's not there anymore, so I guess that's a blessing, because I didn't want to do that again. Alright, let's start some fires. Probably best to just do the coffins first, to be honest. Well, maybe probably do a little maintenance in the process. It is it's funny how they stop. See you next time around. I imagine once we get oh, later in this DLC or I, I keep calling it DLC, it's not, it's a, it's an expansion. I figure when we get later in this, they're going to become real difficult. Don't you be a fast one. I'm not sure how much I left in of me trying to get a zombie for that guy. Oh, here we go. But there was literally like 30 fast zombies that just kept coming. Okay, Peter Turner. Pete Turner. No dead eye. Oh, fuck. And I'm on fire. This is good. Get up. Faster, Marson. Isn't too bad. Suppose we should go out to Ridgewood Farm. It probably won't be too bad. Because I don't think that was very big in the first place. What do we got? Ridgewood. Pretty easy one. Forgot how much I love the volcanic pistol. You're done with this world. Hopefully at some point I'll get the 1911. I do remember you got that in the main game, like, pretty late in it at least. Zooming zombies. War, why don't you go set- oh, I sh should've tried to, um, set them on fire. Although last time I tried that I got knocked off the horse by a fast zombie. I see War likes to get in the way of me too. Okay, we can do that too. Oh hey, Springfield! Nice. All right. You know the drill. You claw at my back, I'll claw at yours. Okay, we're on a bit of a roll here, so why don't we go get the next graveyard? Don't you run me over? I think it's a graveyard next, right? Yeah. Then after that, we'll be free to uh, head on down to Fort Mercer. Oh, unencountered towns. What do we got? Oh, Raskeller and Gaptooth. Okay. I have a feeling I'm getting more and more abbreviated with the editing in these uh, clearing parts the later in the video we get because they're starting to become just chores at this point. We go again. Try out the Springfield, I guess. Not a very big one. Springfield's nice. Only holds four rounds, though. We're getting random zombies with no heads. That's disconcerting. Alright, last coffin. Also, let's go to the bolt action. Get out of here, bitch. Okay, that didn't work. Damn, how many more is there gonna be? Okay, finally almost done. Well, I'm gonna have a time of my life, 
I tell you, Mr. Vistar. Return to Seth. Okay. I still haven't met, uh, Dickens. But, okay. I forgot this is the last graveyard he told me to go clear. Do you like what you see, lady? What in the hell is going on here? Seth, sorry to interrupt your party. Hey, John, come join us. We're having a jig. <laughs> John, have you met Mary Lou? What about Francie? <laughs> I did as you asked and cleared out the rest of the graveyards. Doesn't seem to have done much good. Good? 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 Is dead good? Are you good? <laughs> Stop with your nonsense, you annoying fool. What's going on? The world's turning, John Marston, and the moon with it. Woohoo! <sighs> Day follows night, and hate follows love. Oh. Okay, you asked for it, Seth. You either stop dancing and start talking, or prepare to join Moses and the rest of these freaks. Are you constipated, John? You look very angry. You get constipated when you're angry. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> I'm warning you, Seth. Oh, I'm warning you, Seth. I'm warning you. Don't play with the undead, Seth. Don't chase treasure. Don't waste your time searching for treasure and discover only a glass eye. <laughs> glass eye. Well, warn all you want, cowboy. Hey, John. Well, how are you? Would you like a drink? We got blood mucus surprise. Come on! Seth, what is going on? Aztecs. Or, or Incas. Or, or it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it's all the same. Once every 200 years, this land is doomed. <laughs> That's why we love it. Mexico. Mexico, John. Mary Lou, may I have the honor? Oh. You're a sick man. Okay, once again, didn't get much out of that. I see I can save here. So I guess I don't, um... All right. Who wants a I need to get these, uh, these towns dealt with. So, let's go back to Ridgewood and then do Raskeller and Gaptooth and whatnot. And it's got no head. That's cool. I should probably just reload the game fairly soon. Just to keep from having this crap happen again. Why is the town safety not rising? Oh no, the game is fucked again, I can already tell. Town safety's going nowhere, heads are disappearing, okay. In fact, you know what, just to be safe, I'm gonna go ahead and go all the way back home and reload the game. Let's try this again. Fast zombies, that's just great. Let's see how many we can get from out here before we go in. Undead Hunter Rank 1. It's the fast ones I'm worried about here. I know by this point in the video that I'm kind of abbreviating these sections a lot, so I'll try to spare you the talking about nonsense. It does get uh, to be just a chore after you've done this enough, so. Try getting up from that. 
All right, hold on. There's just a train of them. That's a big train. Let's move a little bit, huh? Okay, where? There you are. Hallelujah. Explosive rifle? Excuse me? What? What the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, we've got to try that. What the hell? I do not remember that from the main game. No, Alright, same drill. I don't think there's been a single time yet. Well, okay, okay, there was one time where I talked to the survivor and asked them what they wanted, but it was something I think I cut. And they just want ammo. Like, there's no really even reason to talk to them. You just kind of deal with the zombies. If I if I had, like, played through the single player before I played this, I probably would know better about the places to get on the roof. I think that would make uh, clearing these towns a little easier. Look, there's even a machine gun up here. Or a Gatling gun, anyways, that I could have used. We've got Gap Tooth Breach to take care of. See if we pick up anything on the way. And then, uh, oh, there's a, there's a mission over here. I've kind of got this all under control for right now, so I guess Mexico is really kind of the next stop. We'll go do Gap Tooth Breach, go see if we can do this mission, and go on. I know this long video is really long. I'm trying to, like, do an entire sector of the map in one video. So we'll see how long it takes here, I guess. Sure, what we got going on here? Hold on. <laughs> oh, the explosive rifle's amazing. Oh, this is that one. No, I'm sorry, guys. I'm not going to do that one again. It's the one where he wants you to catch a zombie. Last time I did that, the game freaked out. And uh, it was a nightmare. I'm not going to do that one. At least right now. I really do not feel like doing that right now. That was not fun at all. Right now, I just want to get these towns cleared so I can do these missions. Probably do whatever that side mission is first. Before we go talk to Wes Dickens, because I'm pretty sure he's going to send us off somewhere else, so. Oh, we got a, got a height advantage here. How useful is that going to be, though? Where are the zombies? This thing is nuts. Got to hit him, I guess. Oop. Well, the town safety meter's rising, so hopefully it isn't broken. <laughs> That's so satisfying. This one has a lot to fill up. I hope this one doesn't break. What the hell is that? Wretcher Undeads. Oh, great. We got a new type of zombie. That's just fantastic. Let's not use that. I gotta be careful I don't accidentally shoot survivors and fuck it all up again. This one is kind of weird so far. The zombies are really spread out at the moment. Hope that's not a bad sign. Gotta say, I don't really trust this game to not break anymore. I'll deal with the ones that spit the stuff at me all day over these things right here. I hate these. They're terrible. Also, I can't aim. One of these days, I'm gonna kill him. It's a bruiser. And... There we go, that wasn't so bad. The, um, they were spread out a lot more on that one. So, that was not too bad. Pretty sure the game saved after I finished that. I keep being in the habit of saving, but I don't want to progress time too much, I guess. Just because, um... Before you, oh, I, I forgot I have dynamite. Uh, because before you know it, we're gonna be back to having towns get overrun again. So, what that? That's only happened once so far, though, surprisingly. Okay, let's go see what the hell this is in plain view. Oh no, we got another. We got more towns. Oh, it's plain view. Oh, and we also got Fort Mercer, of course. So we got a few more towns to do. All right, well, let's do the town, and then we'll do the mission. There's turning out to be a lot more towns I've got to save than I thought. Although, there hasn't been a ton of graveyards yet. Let's try running over the horse. Running over the zombies with the horse. 
Is he actually gonna land him on fire? Oh, he does. Well, that is pretty cool. Some volcanic pistol action going on. Man's in need of post. Well, we got another town getting retaken by the zombies. That's nice. Damn it. No. Okay, well. Missed. Missed twice. These bruisers are kind of annoying. They're kind of hard to get away from. Fuck. It's like they track you. Even when you dodge them, they manage to hit you. Was that not the explosive rifle I pulled out? There we go. Not sure what happened there. That was the that was explosive rifle, huh? I'm gonna go do that before I do this town. I'm gonna go to the safe room, or before I do this survivor mission. I'd rather just stay on top of that if I can. Okay, Manzanita Post is safe. Wasn't really anything too exciting, just, you know. Alright, let's see what we got here. I'm not sure who this could be. I remember what this camp looked like, but I don't really remember who was here in the main game or anything, so. You okay, mister? Oh! Ah! Oh, Mr. Marston! Well, I might have guessed you wouldn't have got the lurgy yet. Not yet. I'm trying to help my family. Yes. Quite the hobby of yours, that. Sure. Listen, any idea what the hell's going on here? No, but it's brilliant. Man turned against man. Kind-hearted neighbors turned into savage, flesh-eating monsters. <laughs> Just hit. It'll make a fantastic movie. Who would enjoy that? What? What kind of sick person would like that? My. Fine, sir. The lowest common denominator. My people. You're gone, friend. On the contrary, sir. You misunderstand me. Come now, you're a smart fellow. Allow me to illuminate. <laughs> Listen, Mr. Marston. What I need is one of those nasty buggers that spits poisonous snot on you. If in your travels you can find a spare one, we can make moving picture history. You're worse than they are. Each to their own, Mr. Marston. But if you find the time... <sighs> so he wants the same thing as that random encounter I passed up, except for a spitter. Let's put that one on the back burner for right now. <laughs> I just... I just went through this not long ago trying to lasso zombies and I had such a bad time with it. We'll come back to that. Let's get over to the main mission. Let's go clear out Fort Mercer and talk to Nigel. I'm sure there will be a point in this uh, series, if it becomes a series or something, that I'll go back to be trying to finish things up. Things that I missed or whatever. But not right now. I haven't even gotten the notice about the town yet. Do I need to go in the front? There's the entrance. Okay. Hey, somebody's out there. He ain't one of them. Open the gate. Didn't have to secure the town first. You're gonna be okay. Step right up! Step right up! Don't be shy now. Don't be shy. Nature confounds us, but science saves us. That's the truth, sir. That's the truth. West Dickens patented tonic. The only 100% original, 200% guaranteed cure against the undead stalking this earth. It not only brings health and fitness to the sick and needy, 
It repels the undead and saves souls! Why, it's a natural miracle! And it's available now, here, at the low, low price of only 100 solid gold coins! That sounds expensive, but what price eternal damnation! <laughs> you, sir! You look healthy. Would you like to give it a try? Me, sir? Yes, sir. Would you care to demonstrate the undead defeating possibilities of this patented elixir? No, sir, I would not. What I would like is for you to stop peddling this nonsense right now. 100 gold coins? Well, what price would you pay for survival? <laughs> you tell me, Mr. West Dickens. You tell me. Well, since you put it that way, um, why don't all you chaps all take one for free now? And uh, if you like it, when you like it, uh, you'll know where to find me. Uh, you won't find any undead around me. <laughs> take it, enjoy. <laughs> Thanks a lot, John. These people have lost their families. They've lost everything. Well, that's not my fault. I'm just trying to make an honest living here. No, you're not. Well, uh, okay. But can I help it if demand is high? High? I'm offering the people hope, John. That's a precious commodity. The tonic really works. <laughs> These poor, awful undead creatures can't stand it. <laughs> Come here. Take a look. Works like a charm. Uh, well, it wasn't quite what I expected. Stuff is like catnip to those bastards. Uh, well, I, I, I need more desert sage and uh, violet snowdrop, and then I know I can cure this foul plague. Okay. Back to doing your dirty work, am I? Now, don't be like that. Don't you remember the good times? Please? I'm an old man! And all right. Here. Take it. Maybe you can use it to attract some of them. <sighs> okay. I'll see what I can do. And thanks. I'm sure this will come in real handy in case I want to meet some new and interesting friends. <sighs> mm. Interesting. Desert Sage and Cap Tooth Ridge, Violet Snowdrop, and the northern part of Tall Trees. Undead bait, huh? Did you mark this on my map? So it's a collection mission. Fantastic. Okay, well, so we can go to Gap Tooth Ridge first. Wasn't that other mission they said to get a retcher from over there? All right. Guess we'll go all the way in. I don't, I don't know if it's just kind of in the general area or what. So, just stop at the waypoint and start walking around in the rain looking for Desert Sage. Sure. Okay, I don't know what's going on behind me, but there's people with no heads, so I'm going to have to reload the game. But let's see if we can at least find some, some of these plants. I don't know where I'm looking, to be honest. There we go. So I need five of this, and then I need five of the, like, Violet Snowdrop or something like that. Which I gotta go up to the northern end of Tall Trees for, if I remember correctly. Let's get up off the road. Oh dear, what do we got going on down here? Oh. You have no head. Oh man, none of them are dead. Don't have heads to shoot. This is good. I think I got him. Wild fever few. Not what I'm looking for. I'm still in Gap Tooth Ridge, right? I've been running around for a while. 
It's funny how when you're actually looking for stuff, you need to kind of go back forward. You don't find it, but, uh, no, oh, here we go. Right? There we go. Hard to there see. Okay, three. That's what I wanted. And four. This looks like the one. One more than we can get out of here. Oh, there we go. Finally. Running around for quite a uh, while. Okay, we now are. we can head up to not sure what they mean by the northern part of tall trees. I guess they mean up around what is this, Nicote Rock, Aurora Basin? I think we'll probably head up to that kind of general area. Or maybe they mean way up top. Way up north. Yeah, something's going on with my horse, too. He's not on fire anymore. I'm not sure what's up with that. I'm gonna reboot the game before we actually go up there. Oh no, I reloaded the game, and now it doesn't think I found Desert Sage, because apparently it didn't autosave when I fast-traveled to a new location. So I get to do that again. Okay, I've got a bit of an opportunity here. While I was out re-getting... The Desert Sage, I found one of those spitter things. And I managed to hogtie it. So we can bring it back to that guy. Maybe I should go do that, and then come back for the last Sage now. Because I don't know what other opportunity I'm going to have for this. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to leave it on the horse. So... Here, get on my burning horse. Alright, let's go back real fast and just finish that side mission. Horse, stop walking away from me. Let's go! Hostage fell off. Okay, hold on. Stay right there. Swear to God, if you despawned. Okay, you didn't. Come here, horse. Alright, slow. Alright, let's Don't get the worry. fuck out of here. Finish this up, go up the tall trees. Not stopping for shit. I see art has got the better of you. Stupidity got the better of me, but I felt I should help an old friend. I appreciate that, sir. Are you ready to watch the creation of magic? If you say so. Wonderful! Let's put the star into his first seat. Right over here. You can put him down here. Oh, 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 is it <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, this looks like a train. Movie making history, my friends. Oh, uh, gem. Uh, there you go, my man. Out. There we are. Just rest. And ready, ready, ready. I see you. You're going to be stars. Do something interesting now. Ah! And action! Zombies, go! Oh, your hands are eat human flesh! Close to press, right, right, right! Oh! Ah! Help! Motion! Well, so much for that guy. Kind of saw that coming. Anyways, we're gonna save the game and we're gonna travel up some tall trees. Get these few plants. Still not quite there, but what do we got? There we go. Violet Snowdrop. Alright, I'm in the right general area then. Let's remark that. Oh, I only needed one. Repentance Rock. Okay. Here we are. <laughs> Another satisfied customer, Mr. Wes Dickens. Oh, hello, John. Yeah, poor fellow can't get enough. As I see. Get rid of him, would you? Why? Well, because we're old friends. No. Uh, because uh, we'll team up and fight the forces of darkness together. No. Uh, because I've got something to want. Uh, trust me, you cynical bastard. <laughs> Oh. 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 
Thank you, dear boy. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh, whoa. oh, did you get the stuff? Of course. Oh, excellent. Oh, wait just a minute. <laughs> ah, here you go. Now these should help. If I've got my mathematics correct, they'll blow the buggers apart. <laughs> and if you've got your sums wrong? Oh, ye of little faith. Now listen, John. You're going to need some more serious weaponry. I've got a plan, <laughs> but you need to pick up some old parts at Riley's charge. Another shopping trip. Yeah, well, excuse me if my efforts at salvation are interrupting your busy social calendar, John. I'm only trying to help because... Because we're, we're old friends, I know. <laughs> you better not be wasting my time. Uh, me? <laughs> Never. <laughs> Perish the thought. <laughs> <laughs> Find the old parts. What? That was very vague. What old parts of what? Okay, here we are. So, what am I looking for? Damn it. Right when I. Oh, fuck. Right when I show up. Goddamn fast zombie. Oh. I like he just grabbed some random shit. Oh, that was it? Where are we going back to? Benedict Point. Okay. Okay, buddy, I've got your old parts. Guess we don't need to worry about trains, do we? Where's I haven't Dickens? seen a single one. Uh, Nigel! Where are you, old man? You better not have gotten killed. Under here! <laughs> Get out here! Are you alone? No. I brought the great mass hordes of the undead with me. Of course I'm alone. Well, it's not the undead I'm worried about, dear boy. <laughs> I kind of like them. It's the normal people I can't stand. What's happened? No, don't be like that. I haven't done anything, or stolen anything, or even lied that much. What then? A bunch of people just chased me out of town. They blame me for everything that's happened. I tell you, John Marston, I've been selling health tonics for years, from here to Timbuktu, and never once has there been a, a demonic bloodlust or the undead rising up. It's preposterous. Okay. No. <laughs> they want to hang me. Me. An honest salesman. Can you believe that? Snake oil merchant who cried wolf. Well, yeah, something like that. Um, well, I'm headed south. I'm, I'm headed down to Mexico. I hear things are much better down there. Not to mention the, uh, the climate and the nice locals, but uh, also the merciful lack of cannibalistic morons with infectious eye diseases. <laughs> oh, did you uh, get the bits and bobs I requested? Sure. Ah, oh, ha, ha, excellent. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, I don't want to. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. Ah, there. I see. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Here you go. <laughs> I risked my life for this? A blunderbuss? Is this a joke? What is this, 1850? Oh, ye of such little faith. You've been hanging around cattle and killers too long. You've got the compassion of a mass murderer and the intellect of a cow patty. I'll stick your faith in this gun where the sun don't shine. This is the weapon of choice for demonic horde killers everywhere. From 
Romania to Edinburgh and all the other places the undead roam. You can put pretty much anything into it and blow a bunch of the buggers away in one go. Makes your rifle look like a pea shooter. You better not be lying to me. Would I lie to you, John? I do others, I admit, the occasional uh, <clears throat> sin of omission. But to you, never, dear boy. Now, uh, oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Ooh, ooh, ah. yeah. Now, I am headed down to Mexico. Is there any chance that uh, I will see you there? We shall see. Well, if you're interested, I should be at Solomon's Folly in a few days, trying to figure out a way to get in. I hear the border it's not as open as it used to be. <clears throat> Ta-ta! <laughs> A blunderbuss, eh? I actually kind of like the sound of that. Now, what do I put in it? Build blunderbuss am ammunition. Oh, I got it in achievements. Undead body parts as ammunition. Well, let's see what this thing can do, shall we? I forgot, I didn't, I just missed what it just said. What? Really? Okay. It just deletes them? How am I gonna loot body parts then? I gotta say, it's pretty cool. This is some crazy nonsense. I'm gonna have to save ammo for that though. Let's go to something else for now. Okay, so it's gonna take a few days for him to get down there. So I guess we are going to Mexico soon, which means soon be the end of this video missing souls okay we got another mission I guess we can go do that in the meantime well so far other than some of the random encounters I've come across I've done pretty much everything up here as far as missions go I think unless possibly I missed something then we have this but uh, so far so good it's looking like this will be done in like two halves my playthrough anyways, like the, the first half was all up here in the northern region, the second half will be down in Mexico, and then we'll have the ending. <laughs> in a time of enormous crisis, I might have known the government have you boys doing the work of a common clerk. Thank you for your input, citizen. I'm glad you find life so funny. <laughs> My pleasure. Do you think this poor girl's family finds life quite so funny right now? Family? I assume she was a common killer. She's a missing person. Missing presumed dead, I guess. But you keep cracking them jokes. I'm sorry, mister. I guess I spoke a little out of turn. I ain't the one you should be apologizing to. Just find the girl. She's 15. Millicent Waterbury. Pleasant's house. Oh, so do we have missing people side missions we're gonna start getting now? Find Millicent Waterbury. Give it a try, she's probably dead. Okay, I guess we can head up to Twin Rocks. Go from there, or to Ridgewood. Uh-oh, I guess we gotta take a uh, side trip to Pacific Union Railroad Camp. Undead without without ammo belts have undead parts. Dead. Why don't I have a town safety thing? Okay, there we go. Town safety meter is not rising. You know what that means? It means I get to go back to the homepage and reload the game again. Okay. So I just loot him, and is it gonna automatically make ammo, or am I gonna have to craft it? Is that something I can do? Let's see, is it actually making me ammo? No. Okay, we'll have to figure out how to do that later. And... There we go. Okay. Now, we'll head up to, uh, this missing person. 
I see we've got some oh god really that was good that was my best shot yet anyways got some friends oops come on Well, she I guess she wasn't missing. She just had zombies around. Of course, why don't you damn fucking fast zombies? I say, horse, why don't you do your job and run these things over for me? Easier to just quickly do a dead eye instead of locking onto a bunch. Are you Millicent? Yes. Come on. Your family's worried sick. Okay, that what was easier than I expected, I guess. Don't worry about the horse. Thank God you came along. He's just on what were fire. You doing out here by yourself. We were so hungry. Climb on. on the horse. Let's get you home. <laughs> just jumps on the <laughs> just jumps on the flaming horse. All right, where are we going? Back to Mercer. All right. Yeah. Kind of a long ride. Let's let's roll. What's your name, Mister? John. John Marston. I've heard that somewhere before. You from around here? I spent some time down here, but I live in West Elizabeth. I have a small farm up there. My wife and son have got the infection. That's terrible. Do you think there's a cure? I sure hope so. Otherwise, well, I don't want to think about oh. the otherwise. Holy hell. There no end? Freaking zombie pit. Drive by burning here. Lord Not have so mercy. Bad. What? What happened? Let's go. What? It just gets worse. I have Never in. What did I Oh man. Thanks a lot, Rockstar. You. Did you see them clawing at the house like a pack of wolves? It was like they could smell me in there. No offense, miss, but they could. It's horrific. Are they alive or dead? Somewhere in between, I reckon. It's some kind of punishment for our sins, isn't it? It's a curse. My pa warned me, but I didn't listen. This is all my fault. What are you talking about? I, I kissed a man and we weren't even betrothed. <laughs> Don't worry. Believe me. If that's the extent of your sins. I'm in a whole heap more trouble than you are. Go! This sickness, it ain't like nothing I've seen before. You're telling me. I mean, my Uncle Pete gets incoherent and mighty gropy from time to time. Cross up some bilious horrors of mourning, but never anything like this. I'm pretty it sure whatever your uncle Pete's got is saloon related. Okay, yeah. we made it this time. Look out, horse. Here we are. I can't seem to get away from this place. Thank you. Good luck helping your family, Mr. Marston. Thank you. <laughs> Plenty of more just like him, Mr. Comedian. We got a whole host of missing folk. Oh, great. Some more side quests incoming. Not sure I'm going to do a whole ton of those. Semi auto. Oh, oh, hold on. Oh, I got the, um, what is it, the Borchardt C93 in real life? Whatever they just called the semi-auto pistol in here. Yeah, it's a cool gun. It's like the precursor to the Luger, kind of. So, another one has popped up. I see. 
I don't really want to do that right now. Okay, we got a West Dickens mission now. I can always come back and do those later if I need to. Uh, I'm going to save the game and we're going to, unless something else comes up, we're going to go down and see if we can get into Mexico. All right, well, here goes nothing. Nice place. We're in the basement. Ah, Mr. Marston. What's going on? You got a passage into Mexico? Uh, for me, no. Uh, but for you, maybe. Uh, it all depends on your relationship with good old Uncle Samuel. What are you talking about? Uh, well, uh, the border is indeed closed. But the army is sending a train down there. Now, whether it's to help the Mexicans there or to escape the problems here, <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> but I thought things were better in Mexico. Yeah, uh, well, uh, better or worse, it's uh, certainly different. <laughs> so why am I going and not you? Ah, well, that's a matter of age, dear boy. The army don't have many recruits with quite my level of experience. <laughs> so... So, you are on your own. <laughs> There's a train at uh, Benedict Point, and it's leaving soon once they've got all of the soldiers rounded up. Okay. And uh, your venerable friend here has done some more help. I have found some less than happy campers who have given up on glory and abandoned Uncle Sam's ranks. Uh, they're hiding out at Scratching Post. One of them might give you a uniform. <laughs> okay. And what about you? Ah! Baghdad, dear boy! <laughs> well, either that, or Fort Mercer, or perhaps it's time to meet my maker with drool coming out of my mouth and a lust for human blood. <laughs> <laughs> you take care of yourself. I always do, dear boy. I always do. Okay, sounds simple enough. But will it be? Probably not. Okay, so I can either help them and get it or steal it. Well, we'll, we'll see what helping them is all about. If it's just fighting off the undead, then fine. I can do that. I like this pistol. Mostly because I think it looks awesome. Shooting, obviously. Oh, there's actually a lot here, okay. Oh, 
That's really been my most reliable way of dealing with these guys, is just a quick free aim and the dead eye. More. Thanks for helping out. They came out of nowhere. Anytime, partner. Say, you fellas have a spare uniform? What the hell for? My family's in trouble and I need to get over the border. I hear there's an army train going that way. Sure, what do I care anymore? <laughs> you earned it. There should be one on the chest by the tent. Help yourself. Oh. Okay. Simple enough. Thanks. <laughs> I feel like Yeah, you really looked the part, huh? Alright. Let's see if we can move this along. I don't know what my actual playtime is so far in this because I've left my Xbox on basically since I started playing. Like, which was, uh, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. So I'll give you a tally of the actual amount of time I played uh, according to my recorded video footage once we get to the end here. Because it was a lot. Oh, this looks good. Oh, why did I pull my pistol out? Oh, shit. Gotta love that. Dude, get up, Marston. What the fuck, man? You don't have time to fuck around. on it, man. Yeah, it seems like you just waste dead eye doing that a little bit. I mean, you obviously you can more, but... Oh, shit. Yep, get stuck on everything because the movement in this game is clanky as fuck. Clunky as fuck, pardon me. Gotta hit him in the head, dude. Still a few right. Bench is ready. Come on, man. Let's get the hell out of here. You did real good, soldier. Basic training was very thorough. Well, that's good. These degenerates are only good at horn and drinking. Let's roll out. Oh no, are we gonna have to defend the train or something? Stay alert, man. These Mongols are everywhere. Yeah, but we're on a moving train. This train headed for Mexico. God willing. What's the army going there for? Officially, to help our Latin brethren in their time of need. Unofficially, to get the hell out of here before things get even worse. To see what we can steal down there. Always one step ahead, ain't we? Trust the line. How many are there? I don't even worry about it, man. We're moving. I guess there's the fast ones. Oh, this is gonna be fun trying to hit these. Is that a gun I see sitting in the back? Huh, huh. Guess I just need to slow him down, huh? Please don't fall off the train, that would be so frustrating. Come on, auto aim. Our aim assist. What were 
we really needed here was like a Gatling gun or something. Oops. Like you said, conserve ammo. I mean, we're outrunning them. Kind of. This music is great. Wanna not shoot me? Just kind of knocking him back, I guess. Go through it. All right, every one of you clowns, get down and get the debris off the track. Let's go, let's go. Come on, soldier, move, move. You mean we couldn't go through that? All right, make Uncle Sam proud, soldiers. Come on. It's just a bunch of wood. Let's clear the tracks quickly. Let's go. more defense sections. Come on! We ain't got all day! Oh, I forgot to craft some blunderbuss quick, ammo. Quick, quick, Fight! 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 Ah, get back here and fight! What are you, you Okay. Look out, there's more of them. Guess I have quite a bit of revolver ammo. Yep, you're slippery, nonsense. Oh, that guy's out of here. Damn fast zombies. Yep. No, you don't. Am I going to be the only one left? We already lost someone. I'm gonna be the only one on the train. Uh oh. Or just triple tap him. I'll blow your damn head. Cool. Got the train all to myself. I'm getting into Mexico. Okay. Sure why we didn't do that in the first place, but all right. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> By the way, the border didn't look real closed. You could have just. I don't know, walked across. There was just some roadblocks. Okay. We are now in Mexico. Cool. So, this is the part where I can finally stop this video. So far, I'm having a lot of fun with this game. I know that the it's pretty unreliable and I'm getting a lot of glitches and stuff like that, but I'm having a lot of fun with this. I'm interested to see where the plot goes down here in Mexico and we're gonna stop this one here I'm gonna make it'll probably just be one more video of this and it'll probably be another long one now these take quite a while to put together so I don't know when the next one will show up I tend to record stuff like this like when my computer is tied up rendering regular videos and stuff so I have no idea when part two will come out but there will be a part two maybe a three depending on how long it actually takes down in Mexico. I have a feeling Mexico is going to be a little more brief than uh, up north, but um, just because there's, well, there's a fair amount of map, but uh, 
yeah, anyways, we'll just see how it goes next time. So yeah, my official playtime, I'll pop up on screen here how much actual footage I have, as opposed to the video length. So it's, it's, so far it's much longer than I thought it would be, although some of that's just travel time and repetition and stuff like that, but anyways, that'll do it for this one, so I will see you guys next time. Take it easy.